What's going on, you guys? So I'm sure many of you heard by now that Edgar, the monster Berlanga, the chosen one Berlanga, whatever he calls himself these days, is now signed with Matchroom Boxing. Hit that like button for your boy. Give me the HBO special. That's to help a brother out special. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. But Edgar Berlanga has now signed with Matchroom Boxing. After recently becoming a free agent in the sport of boxing from leaving top rank um, now he finds himself a matchroom boxing fighter fans already assume boxing already assumes that he's going to be segued right into a potential fight with Mexican superstar boxer Canelo Alvarez who is returning this May against John Ryder John Ryder <laughs> who has five losses now a lot of fans are up in arms about Canelo's more recent opponent selection, John Ryder. When we have guys like Caleb Plant, David Benavidez, Jamal Charlo, Demetrius Andre, who for years just couldn't get a fight with Canelo Alvarez to save their life. But guys like John Ryder, you know, um, he mysteriously and magically is able to get the fight without even leaving the United Kingdom. I mean, it's just it's just crazy how boxing works, right? Same is going to be for Edgar Berlanga, uh, who was more recently, in most people's eyes, is still a prospect. Um, probably in most people's eyes as well, he's not necessarily that good as they was trying to push early on. He was a knockout machine. He was crushing dudes. And then once he got to more recent opponents, he started to struggle, controversial decisions, things of that nature, right? But... This is right up Canelo Alvarez's alley. Eddie Hearn sees dollar signs, and he's going to put Edgar Berlanga in there where with guys that he know he's going to be able to beat, and increase his profile on the platform, and then segue right into a fight, probably this September, with Canelo Alvarez. I mean, it would be unfortunate if that was the case, right? But they're going to try to sell it as a big Mexican versus Puerto Rican showdown, and that's something that we haven't seen in quite a while as boxing fans. We haven't seen a huge rivalry between um, a, a superstar Mexican boxer and a superstar Puerto Rican boxer. Is Edgar Berlanga a superstar boxer? Nah, he's not. He is popular, especially over there on the East Coast. A lot of rappers and a lot of New Yorkers there. A lot of people seem to know who Edgar Berlanga is. But as far as us boxing fans, um, there's still a lot left to be desired. A lot that needed to be seen from Edgar Berlanga for us to even believe he needs to go anywhere and close to a ring with Canelo Alvarez. But this is the way boxing works. This is the way the politics of boxing work. You know, guys like John Ryder will get a shot. Guys like uh, Rocky Fielding will get a shot. You know, Billy Joe Saunders. These guys will get a shot, you know. But a guy like Andre, who in my opinion didn't look good his last fight, his debut at 168 pounds, he won't get a shot. Jamal Charlo, he won't get a shot. A guy that we haven't seen in over 800, 600 some days. Right, David Benavidez, a guy who's been at the 168 for quite a while. I mean, Canelo Alvarez could play weight games with him. He don't even want to go nowhere near that. And Caleb Plant, of course, he got in the ring with Caleb Plant, and we saw what happened there. But John Ryder, you know, I mean, I guess it is what it is. John Ryder um, is a guy who, in my opinion, beat Callum Smith and got kind of robbed in that fight, in my opinion. Uh, he is a poor man's version of Canelo Alvarez. So we're going to see how Canelo Alvarez Looks against a guy with a similar in stature and similar um, has similar styles. We're going to see how Canelo Alvarez looks in this return fight after coming off a uh, lackluster performance against a 40-something-year-old Gennady Golovkin. And then we're going to see if Canelo is going to either fight Berlanga or Bevel in September. So, yeah, that's what it's looking like, what's going on with Canelo Alvarez and guys like Edgar Berlanga. Matchroom Boxing seemed to have... See what the deal with Edgar Berlanga. They're going to try to sell him as a star. He's going to be fighting on the zone. And then we're going to see him segue right into a potential fight with Canelo Alvarez. Now, if he goes in there and loses or even looks pretty bad against some of these guys leading up into a potential fight with Canelo Alvarez, then I doubt it happens. But we'll see. Like, subscribe, hot your boy. Peace out.